Hello, hello. Welcome back to Tour Store You, and we are going to do a fun little craft along. Uh, so all you coffee lovers, take note and be ready because you're going to want to save all of your coffee sleeves. So here's how this came about. I was on a organizing mission and I had a bunch of these styrofoam to-go cups and apparently I never used the sleeves and had this whole stack. And so I was like about to throw them away and I'm like, oh wait, don't throw them away. We can do something with them. So here's a couple of the projects that we're gonna do today. We are going to do a belly band like this and a little mini journal slash notebook. Super adorbs. My rings are a little bit too big, but that's all I had, so that's what I used. Uh, some tags and let's see, what else? Just some little tuckies and little bits and bobbles, snippets if you will. And then a couple more tags and then I did, let's see, um, I have an upcoming video that <clears throat> is making these accordion books. And so in this one, I sewed it and made it into a little pencil case. So we are going to talk about that a little bit. And then I did one other in my, whoa, patriotic journal, which this one I did as a sample for the ephemera kits. Let me move that. And here it is right here. And this is just an example of a belly band with a, a jelly print in there. I gotta get this thing done. Still have pages left to do. But that was kind of cute, very, very simple. And there's so many more things that you can do with that as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I think we're just gonna start with um, this one I thought would be cute. I went ahead and did some sewing on these in advance. Um, I don't know how well if you just glued these, they would stay, but you know what? Certainly try it. Um, so I think we're just going to embellish this one and we'll put this one aside. This will be another pencil case, but I thought this would be fun because we can put a little writing utensil in there and then I thought we would decorate this and maybe do um, a little notepad too. So let's go ahead and try it. I have not done anything with this. Well, I did do some practice stamping on that, but except for so that piece. So that is how easy it is. They're already, you know, very, very sturdy, obviously. Um, I did like the effect of, so mine, I mean, these are just generic ones. They're not from Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or anything like that, um, which the, dun the Starbucks ones would be really fun because they've got sayings on them and on the, on the cups as well. But, um, and just using that would be super cute. Uh, but what I noticed is with this, it kind of looks cool because it's corrugated a little bit to um, distress the front. So I'm going to do that really quick. You know, I'm kind of, I go both ways. I like to distress stuff sometimes, and sometimes I just really like to get at it. Um, and by the way, I am trying to use all of my scraps. So this is, oh, here's some black. Let's just use some of that. Um, so bear with me on this because I don't have a plan. There's no design plan in the works, which is not typical of how I, I roll, but just gonna do it. I like that. Let's, um, you know, I got out the big stamps and now I'm finding that I'm still using my baby stamps. And everybody always asks where I got them. It, they're from close to my heart. I've had them forever. Um, I have reinkers, so I'm able to re-ink these, but I don't know that they make them anymore. And I should know because I'm technically a distributor. <laughs> um, 
I don't do a lot of distributing. I do a lot of purchasing, but um, it's super cute. And then I've got, uh, let's see, how are we going to layer this up? I don't really want to go across that because I'm thinking if I glue that down, it might come up a little bit. Let's see, maybe like that. But I have some of these. These are from, if you watch the haul from the yard sale, my car just took me there episode. Um, you'll probably, oh, here, these are cute. These were from that <clears throat> yard sale that I went to, which was super, super fun. Hang on, I gotta pull them all out. I had that, what the heck? Okay, these are not coming out. There we go. Let's see. Planner girls are the prettiest girls. That seems like a perfect little idea to put in there. Because this would be cute inside of a journal, especially somebody like a Bujo bullet journal. So I don't know about you, but it's been, I don't know where you live. <laughs> but if you live in the Midwest, I'm sure you can commiserate with me. And it, I love the heat. I love being outside. I love being at the beach. <clears throat> Oh, it is so stinking hot. And we had our farmer's market. What is going on with my glue? Um, we had our farmer's market last night. And I came home. And the kids wanted to go for a walk. And I was like, hey, you are cray cray. Um, Mama is not going on a walk today. It is too hot. And I've been out in the heat all day. And so they took Zenny for a walk, which I can't believe that she actually made it through. <laughs> um, because she's just a little itty bitty thing and she doesn't make it very long on her walks anyway. So they took water and all of that good stuff. So she was fine. She made it through, but it's just unbearably hot. And so that means <clears throat> all of the, I mean, even watering the plants this morning and the flowers outside. I was like, oh, killing me, Smalls. <laughs> I don't like those. But I do like these. Let's just do a little succulent. A little bougie it up a little bit. A little boho. Maybe just, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. We'll just put it right there. How simple is that? Like, I haven't done really anything. Nothing fancy schmancy. But I do want to put something else on there. I feel like it needs something else. Cute. Done. Now, let's do a quick little notebook. And we're going to use all of this to make it. And here's what I love about using my scraps. I need to move this ink out of the way. Um... I don't really even worry about, you know, what size these are. I just stick those bad boys together. But we're going to do a couple more papers in here. Let's see what I can find. I'm, I'm not, you know, it's really bad when you're like, eh, I'm not really in love with my, um, <laughs> my stash of scraps. So we, let's see, I'm just going to hold this together and see how large we can get this. Pretty big. We can certainly go bigger. That's too small. Here, I'm going to just put this over here. See what I'm saying? Like, these aren't speaking to me. Like, all my, I don't know where all my good stuff is. But it's certainly not in here. Now we're just going to use that green because there's some green in there. I wish you guys were here so you could say, here, grab that one. Oh, this would be cute as a cover. Let's use this. This is... Right, I'm going to have to get into the big box of scraps, not my baby itty-bitty scraps. So let's see what I got. I'm just going to grab some 
Don't mind me. These aren't much better, kids. Boys and girls. But we'll make them work. Okay, I don't know why I pulled that one out. I like all these black and whites, but I'm gonna flip some of these. Put that aside. We'll use that. We'll flip this one this way. And I'm just gonna go total cheater method with this. This one is a, okay, this is a double-sided cardstock. So here's what's what the plan is. I'm gonna grab a couple um, more pieces of plain paper. So we'll use these. We'll make this just a smidge bigger. And I think I'm gonna go with, let's see if that is, three and three quarters. So let's go with, I'm gonna go with two and three quarters width, just to be safe, on the safe side. So I'm just gonna rip these right now. Two and three quarters is approximately right there. Sort of, ish. Oops, I missed a page. Boom, and those, this one, these are gonna be a little smaller. So do I like the way those are? Yes, I do. Just move some of those in there. I don't want this to be too fat. So we'll set those aside. Let me just grab a couple pieces of paper. Okay, shut the scrap box. Oh, but. Anyway, what's going on in my life today? Uh, Demi is going to go with her Aunt Court Court, Aunt Courtney, my sister. And she's going to the CrossFit Games in Wisconsin with Courtney and Kyle. Oh, whoa. Courtney and Kyle. So that'll be kind of fun for her. I kind of like with those on here, so we're just going to leave them. Um... So she leaves tonight, so I'm taking her over to their house. Um, actually, they're not leaving until tomorrow, but the girls are going to prep some snacks and food for the road and, you know, all the healthful nourishment that they need uh, to get them by for the long weekend. And then Landon is going to be here with me part of the time, and I think he's going to go to his dad's house, so... Um, my hope is that I will actually get quite a bit of stuff done. We shall see. We shall see. We're using all of this paper because why not, right? All right. Now I'm weird. I have to put these in. I have to like, I don't know. I just want them to be like in between other things. I don't know about using these itty bitties, but you know what? I might leave some of these out. Or that one. Oh, and I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna leave that one. Cause look, it's pretty on that side. Let's put that there. With a big piece. I know this is crazy, right? Do you guys do this? Is it just me? <laughs> I hope not. But I want, you know, if I'm going to put this in a journal, I want to make sure that these are things that, um, you know, that there's enough pages in there people can use. Okay, okay. I haven't, I have not thought about, um, what, how I'm going to cover this. But we'll cross that bridge. Let me just make it basic schmishic. Shme oh, I feel like I need a little something on there. 
where are all the other, we're using this one. I'm trying to keep these right in the center ish. I should have been counting how many pages that I'm using, but I did not. Okay. So I think what we'll do, we'll save those. We may use those for our next journal. Um, I think what we'll do is measure this so that we have a cover. And we'll do a front and a back. But then over the top, I feel like on the back. Maybe we just don't need, I need something. Okay, let's see how this fits in here before I get carried away. Okay, fits perfect, looks adorable. How long do we want this? I don't know, I kind of like it like that. All right, I need a back. I need something that's sturdy for the back. Hold, please. Oh, look, I found some stickers. Where'd those come from? Hmm. Found more. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm gonna use a clip because it's pretty... Pretty sure bet that if I don't, I like these kind of scrappy edges. <clears throat> but anyway, if I don't put those together, they'll all fall apart. So what if we, we'll just do this on the front. Where are my scissors? I'm gonna use, <clears throat> since this is already These pinking shears, they gotta go. It's time for me to turn them in. And I don't know, maybe there's a way that you can actually sharpen pinking shears, but I don't know how that is. See, that's terrible. Um, and I don't know if these are just cheap and I, I have more downstairs, but would require me to have to go all the way down there. Like it's a far, far jaunt. All right, so I think the easiest thing for me to do is going to be to just sew this, which would be cute with a little ziggy zag. And I might even put, let's put another piece of ribbon or something, something. <coughs> ribbon, ribbon. Let's see, I need to use this stuff up and I brought this upstairs because, let's see, what do we've got, greens? I don't have anything in there that really speaking to me, nothing really, nope. That's probably why I haven't used it. All right, we'll dig in this really big old box. I'm thinking just some green. Here's a bunch, this is from this is from another one of, well, this is from the, this is from an auction. Okay, I likey like. That'd be cute. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna pause and then I'll be right. All right, I am back and somehow my camera went did so you missed something um i decided before i sewed this together to do just a tab over the front and, and made this the back so i kind of had it come over the top and then i had these tabs that were just from the scraps of the other projects that i did 
and it was already finished and I thought it went really cute with that. So I made that into a tab, added a cute little fern and the phrase there. So this is all ready to roll into, this will be so cute in the garden journal that I'm doing. So maybe I'll save that for that project. I really like this fabric in there. But there you have it, all finished. Cute, cute, cute. So we're gonna set that aside and then I'm just gonna show you some of the other projects. We're not gonna actually do these because I think you probably will get it. But these are all the scraps that came off of um, all of the other things that I did. So um, some of them I cut and rounded just to make into snippets. Um, I thought these were cute as tags. And then this little baby tag. And then I, of course, did this one and the one on here with the intent of using for them on tabs in a journal somewhere. So that is that one. And then this one is a paper clip. So I kind of pulled it apart because I was working on it. But I need to squeeze it back together. Uh, so those are things that you can do with just the scraps there. Um, there's tons of other things. And please, if you have ideas, Throw those in the comments because I would love to hear what you have in mind. Uh, this is the other one that I'm not going to show you how to do because you know how to embellish the way that you want. You're not doing anything to this sleeve except for embellishing it and, you know, maybe distressing it. Um, you don't have to take it apart. These are, you know, belly bands as they are. Um... This one I stuck a little paper clip and this one has two belly bands on it. And then this last one, um, I'm gonna show you how to, um, this was, so what I learned from doing this is that the florals did fairly well on this corrugated, you know, and like I said, you're not probably gonna always use uh, the corrugated ones. I don't think the ones from like Duncan and Starbucks are corrugated, so you won't have that problem. Uh, but the words, like for example, I just tried this one on here, don't turn out nearly as well as the patterns. So just keep that in mind if you're working on something corrugated. But those are three little belly bands. I mean, how long? Just use up your scraps. This is a perfect way to um, do a scrap buster project. <clears throat> um, so the next project I wanna show you is a little bit different and I will walk through how I did these. So this one, uh, I decided I needed, well, I give, my kids love Dunkin', they love Starbucks. Um, I am not a big fan. I just like my coffee black, so I can't see really um, spending the money, but um, I've got some gifts that I need to do. And, um, you know, this happens to be a Barnes and Noble um, gift card so you could do something with the book theme but I made these into gift card holders this one I used um, the little hinge and a brad oops well you get the picture and this one I use magnets and I used one of the scraps of this to put over the back so I'm going to show you guys how to do that um, and I think what I'll do for, and I do need to, uh, cover that. I just haven't done it yet. Um, but I do think for this one, um, I'm going to just set that up here in case we need to look at it. I think I'm going to just do a collage because I've got all of these scraps of this farm, this country kitchen collection. And that was a Cartabella, uh, little collection and I'm using that to make a, a recipe book and I'm just going to start putting stuff on here. I'm going to use, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to use uh, the glue stick because my fear is that it's just not going to quite work as well with um, that corrugated texture. So we'll just go with the fabric fix. Hold on, I'm making a mess over here. I gotta do this out of the picture because I know I annoy you every time I do that. 
Okay, so we're just gonna like quickly just throw some things on there. I say quickly. You know it's probably not gonna be quickly. Um, unexpected friendships are the best ones. That's cute. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here? I like this, love this. Actually, I like the carrots too. Let's use the carrots. All right. We'll just see what happens here. I gotta put this aside because otherwise I'll get all my stacks messed up. All right, so those are probably gonna have to go on the top. Let's do, let's do some of this. And we're not even gonna worry that that is wonky at the end. We're just gonna go with it. And I'm, I'm just letting this stuff kind of hang off the edges and then I'll trim it up. Oh, you know what? I might do, I might do it like that. Let's do that. I'm gonna put it right on there. And you know what I think I'll do after I get this piece put on is I'm gonna show you so that it has time to dry. Let's just cut that off and then I'll show you. When you're doing these as uh, pockets, or I'm sorry, gift card holders, you're going to want to glue the finest of lines on here. Now you could always sew it, that would be so adorable, but uh, make sure you get really close to the edge because depending on the size of your gift card, it might not fit. So now that I've got that bottom part already done, let me get some clips really quick and stick those on there while we finish the rest of it. Um, and you know, it is made to be, that just got to be right. It is made to go around a coffee cup, so it's not naturally going to stay closed. So a couple of little clippies will help keep it in place. Uh, I kind of like, you know, minus like just a chunk of that. And you guys, this is uh, this is one a great example of um, what I shared be before about when you get a kit of paper, you know, don't throw that advertising piece away. Just keep it because this is exactly what I'm using. So cute, um, so easy, and a good way to. Use every inch of what you got. And that's what I did with, with this one. This was all from, uh, that one is Echo Paper. And that was, uh, oh gosh, Angelina. That was uh, Slice of Summer by Echo Papers. I'm trying to get better at remembering what, papers and what materials I'm using. I, um, I'm just in awe with some of the, some of my fellow YouTubers that do such a great job <laughs> remembering. I'm like, how do you remember that? I'm terrible. Whoops. So this, you know, in the, in a lot of the other ones, um, I'm distressed a little bit around the edges, but on these last two I did, I did not. But I think what I'll do is after I get this all embellished or all collaged, I will do that. I think, I feel like I need a piece of, um, solid. See, that was up and down, that's up and down. Let's just tuck this under there. This is just the end of a paper by close to my heart. I think it was cheerful. No, no, I don't think, I know it was. So there we go, I'll put that there. Oh, we need one more little thing. I like, th this is a pretty good piece, so I'm not gonna use that, but I do have that. And I love those roses. So let's use the rose. We're just gonna go all the way to the 
And let's use these two. I'm not, I mean, the fence is cute, but it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite work. And then we'll put a couple of these elements on the top and that one will be good to go as well. And then I'll show you how I did the, the top on this one. I did this inside of here. And so I'll do the same kind of on the, okay. We want that probably, let's do that right. Mm, yeah, I'm fine if it's not in the right shape, we can cover it, right? All right. All right, let's do this wish, or well, we'll do the unexpected friendships are the best ones. That one seems good and appropriate if you're gonna give a gift. I thought this one would be cute. Something different, I, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm old fashioned, um, but I still like to bring hostess gifts when I go to a party. Um, and I thought that that would be really, really cute for, I think it's funny, my doorbell just rang and we got the new ring doorbell a while ago. Well, it's not new. And ever since we got that put in, <laughs> it really it's the only time Zenny barks is when someone's at the door. And now she like, she is none the wiser. She has no idea that that is uh, the doorbell. So she doesn't, she doesn't do anything. And hopefully that's not really somebody other than, I don't see anybody at the door. <laughs> yeah, I just ignore it. I'm pretty sure it's UPS. With some kind of fun package. Oh, so let's talk about fun stuff. Uh, I have... Well, first of all, um, if you haven't watched it, you'll want to go over and hop on... Um, I like that there. Hop on episode nine of our spring bloom tutorial. It was the beginner series and it went through book binding and a lot of different, very simple um, tucks and pockets and mini journals and such for, well, for anyone, but for beginners mostly. And then we ended with um, a little more difficult um, pocket. And then our last one is where I make a fantastic announcement that you guys will want to know about. Um, so if you haven't hopped on over, and I'm going to let that go right off the side. I like it like that. Uh, hop on over there and watch that video. We talk about in that particular video, this is really good for those of you who um, you don't have to be a junk journaler to, to watch this. Um, but I talk a lot about not only, we do a lot with journal prompts, and uh, I talk about mindfulness and creativity and just the um, neuroscience behind happiness and doing what you love. And so uh, I do craft along, but it's kind of a neat little... I love that, just like it is. So, so cute. Um, but it's a little bit different than what my, I normally do, and it, uh, uh, I think it will be something fun for you to watch. But in there, there is a big announcement, and you will want to take advantage of um, hopping on and making a comment for all you subscribers. I thank you in advance, but I had decided when we were talking about mindfulness to do a little challenge of my own. And so that is what that episode is all about. And I won't tell you anything more than that. Um, other than that, it's going to be fun. Now I need to decide, oh, you know what? Okay. So 
on my next project when we make these little books. I found, <laughs> I didn't find, I have thousands of these. Um, oh, but I bet it won't work on this. Let's see. Okay, here's my dilemma. Let's see how this looks. And I thought one of them said, oh, it says banana cream, which would be so perfect, but we'd have to do it this way, which just goes along with the garden theme. All right, instead of showing you, all I did was cover a piece of paper, bent it over and put it on, right? Let's not use that one. Let's do something different because this is banana cream and it's just too cute to not use. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut this off right here. And like I said, in the last, in the first one I did, I did the, uh, the hinge. And in this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a magnet. Ooh, that's gonna be, okay, it's all right, it's okay. We can make it happen. All right, banana cream, banana cream. So we're gonna want it, and morning sun still shows. Okay, let's round the edges of this. I moved this so it was more handy. I realized yesterday, or no, this morning, this morning when I was doing, and yesterday too, when I was doing another project, that I did not have anything under my project. And, ooh, I hope this works on this. You know, depending on your, sometimes like on my wallpaper sample books, ink doesn't do so hot, but hopefully it'll work on here. Okay, I'm just gonna stick that in there. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. Okay, I want it to be right about by the banana. All right. Oh, wait, before I do that, I better. Make sure I have it the right way. These little boogers, they really like each other. You gotta think through it. All right, then we're gonna use my handy dandy tape to cover this up. And if you have seen any of my previous episodes, this is pilfered from my husband's med kit. And it's just, this, this particular one is just um, something you would wrap like a bandage around. But I do have one that he, uh, he uses, or you could use, for like doing a cast, which, ooh, those make, that makes for a fantastic binding. Um, okay, let's put this on here. So all I do is figure out where I want it, and then, oops, it's upside down. Did I do it wrong? Please tell me I did, there we go. So then I'm gonna put that just a dab of glue. I don't know. There's probably an easier way to do this. But this is the way I do it. And it seems to work for me. And I have not glued this into the back yet. Because I want to get that right. But see, I'm making kind of a mess with my... Let's see. My dirty... Let's see if I can get it. With one hand, get a new wipe. Nope. It's just going to have to look a little farmish. A little dirty. All right, I'm going to hold that down while... See, will this fit if I move this? Not really, but we'll just leave it like that for a moment. What I think I'll do is I really loved how that turned out with the little, these are um, bingo, bingo, yeah. Uh, little bingo chips and they're blank or blank bingo markers. And I'm not sure why? Okay, so if you remember, underneath there is a rose or some kind of flower. So let's use, let's see if I can do this. Let's use a red one of these. And, oh, that's so cute. And put it right there. 
I like that. I'm not really loving just this by itself, so I think it needs something. Let's put a little tag on here. It's not the size of your house that makes a home. It's the size of your heart. Oh, and then the other one says to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. Oh gosh, they're both cute, but I'm going with the pink one. Okay. So that'd just give it a wall. Some, and plus it has the roses in there. So I have no idea what kind of flower that is. It kind of looks like a peony. Possibly. I'm not going to ink this because let's see what that's going to look like. This I want to go right there. I like that. All right, so let's put that on. What I'm doing is just waiting for that magnet to dry just a smidgy. Um, we're going to have to cover, well, we don't have to cover it up. We can leave it just like it is if we wanted. But if you want to cover it up, you can. Okay, let's see if I, this is ready. This is the hardest part. Now, you could rely on the fact that that magnet is going to stay in place, but chances are you'll want to reinforce it. So I'm going to try to use the smallest piece possible to go over that. Let's see. Yep. Oh, it works so cute. Okay, I still haven't glued that on, so don't let me forget. Um, now we need to put something over that that's not going to be too heavy. And I think we'll use this other little saying because why not? Well, what, what else do I have? I have a pig. Oh, here. Will that work? I think it might. Do you think we can get this little milk top out of here? Maybe this one. This green one looks better. I mean, it's not the full circle, but we'll make it one right over the top, maybe with a little piece of checker on the side. I just don't want to make this too thick so that the magnets won't stick together. But like I said, they love each other. They like to be married. So <laughs> usually there's not an issue with that. They stick together just fine. I think I'm just going to Pull that back a little bit. The one thing that's bad, good if you are injured, bad if you're doing junk journaling, <laughs> is once you put this on, it is pretty sticky. And so <laughs> sometimes it rips the paper, but you know, like I said, you got an owie. It works perfect. This is so cute. I'm going to take this and take a time out. I'm going to glue that together, let it set, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am letting that dry. But while that dries, let me see. Eh, it's not going to work. Okay, it's fine. I want to, let's see if I put this here on top of that. Still fits fine. Okay, so let's just do this for the inside just to cover that up. And you know, this is a simple, simple. If I can find my pencil, we're just gonna trace around it. I love these projects of upcycling and recycling things that I just randomly find in my house. Um, oh, I have another, see, this is my problem. I get so carried away, but I have two big projects I've got to get done, but I have uh, another project with some items that I found in when I was cleaning my office, um, all of our design materials from our flip houses. And I've got some, some projects that I can't wait to use for uh, to show you because I've already been working on them, but oh shoot. All right. Well, I got a trim um, 
but I promised myself I would not do that. And dang it. Okay. It's still mushy. See, I'm not patient. Jeez. Okay. So this is glued together. This is glued together. Your gift card holder is ready to go with the exception of adding this sweet little bingo blank. Maybe that's like for your free space. Oh, I don't know. We want the banana cream to show. I love that. That might be my favorite one. Um, so simple, so easy. If you just made up a bunch of these and just had them for different occasions, I'm sure you guys probably have stamps that say happy birthday and thank you and yada yada. But um, I think that that summer, slice of summer would be cute with a little gift card to like a meat market or something for instead of that bottle of wine or whatever. Um, okay, so two other things. Well, I want to walk you through this and I'm just, I'm not going to show you how to make, I, I'm sure you know how to decorate punch some holes. Um, you could use ribbon instead of these. You could use many, many things to, you could use just twine to um, flip them together. But I am going to quickly show you how I do the innards, the guts, if you will. So this is one that I had been, that I had tested. I didn't really love the, and see, that was my example. I didn't really love uh, the color choice that I had, but I decided, well, we're gonna rock and roll with it. So I have this huge stack of scraps. And of course I found these, they happen to be exactly the same size, which if you're going to do this, the first one I did, I cut a little bit, so it wasn't, but it didn't really matter. It's still gonna be angled. So the last um, two that I did, or the other one and this one, I didn't do anything to. I just um, pulled it apart like this, cut off, both of those edges, did two of them and put them together and then put my eyelets in. And then I had added the stamps. This is one of my test projects. The inside I cut at four inches by two inches. So four inches long by two inches wide. And it will make it so that it everything is inside of the cardboard that will protect it. So these I already know, and this little birdie thing. I just totally threw together scraps. And I don't know that, you know, this might not work for you, but I like to do things quickly. <laughs> um, so all I did was just stacked everything that I had up. I know that this top piece is two inches. I know that it eventually has to be four inches. And so I just grab a stack. Whoa. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more because I'm gonna start talking it's gonna start moving and then I'm gonna have a problem okay so I just grab a stack of these and on on these little cart on these little books I like the rough edges um, and sometimes I've noticed that with plastic rulers I don't get the same result, but I've had this metal ruler, as you can tell by the back of it. It's been, oh man, I've probably had this for 12 years. Well, probably more than that. <laughs> Ooh, this one looks like it's a little, I'm gonna make sure that that, all right. And see, so I just take a couple of these. Now all those scraps that I was trying to bust through for these projects are now adding up again, but that's okay. Now I'll have things to do little snippet rolls and what I call bits and bobbles, which you probably call just snippets. And I've got just a little menagerie of everything. Um, some book pages, some ledger, some uh, wallpaper. I've got um, wrapping paper. 
Okay, that's how easy it is. Now we're gonna go at four inches and we're gonna do the same thing. I, I am gonna mark this. Oh wait, did I do four? I gotta look. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I'm right. Okay, it's four and a half inches. So yes, I did four inches. I've only made about how many of these? I should know that, but I'm just still second guessing myself. Okay, so now we're gonna move this up here. And we're gonna do the same thing. Look how fast that goes. Even if you only did one at a time. And sometimes when I get like this piece right here is uh, wrapping paper. Oh, it did it pretty good. This is the wallpaper. <laughs> that doesn't work quite as well. Okay, now, let's see how wide these are. Because we can start stacking. As long as these are all the same, that one won't work. Okay, so far we got our two inches. These will not. We'll just make that the back. Do the same thing. I'm not so good at ripping these little bit, little baby ones. All right, now we have a pretty good stack. And look at that. Looks like there's going to be one more. And I'm leaving the bottom on there. Why not? Um, let's see. I like to flip some of these. So I don't have all colored pages on one side. All right, we're just gonna stack those together. I may have to adjust a little bit, but oh yeah, it does look like that. Hang on. Do this over here so as not to make a mess. Still made a mess. All right, let's see, that's a pretty big stack. Let's see if my crocodile pulls through, where'd you go? Okay, that's the top. Here, do it like this. we go. Mm. Boom. Oops. There we go. Well, it might be a smidge off, but Okay, now keep them together while you put the cover on. <clears throat> and that too will make your life so much easier. Bada bing, bada boom. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you guys, test if you're using these um, rings, make sure you test them and see that they're good, that they either come apart or don't come apart. Um, I have one that I did and malfunctioned. Now I could take it all apart, which I probably will do and fix it. But if it's gonna be for you, you can probably just, you know, but there's a lot, you can add a lot of paper to this. So those rings are big and there you have it. So voila. One more project done. And the last one I thought we would do. Oh, I forgot to add these. I'll go back and add them. Because I am not going without some <laughs> paint samples. It just wouldn't be right. All right. So what I thought this would be cute for, because it's already curved, is a banner. And 
I want to make it pretty simple. But I would need to figure out how from the top on each side, it's 10, it's about 10 and a half. So I may have to, I'm going to just do it at 10 and a half. Um, and then if I have to, when I put it into a book, I will cut it down. Um, but I just had these. This is a close to my heart. But I think for the sake of this, I'm just going to do it. Let's see what we got. And I did kind of cut these out in advance because I thought it would. This was from that advertising page too. I suppose if you want to leave it at that, you could. Um, I have this pretty banner. Let's see, this is what I intended to do, is just cover that up with a couple of... Let's just do that. I think what I'll do, because I'm not sure what I'm going to use this. Let's see, do I want to do yeah, this one? I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use this for um, or how I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it in a summer journal. So I don't think I'm going to put anything on here until I get to that project. So I'm just going to... poke the holes in there. I'm a little bit off, but we'll make sure that the brads, which are teensy tiny compared to my <laughs> eyelids, those are huge that I used. And we'll just do that. And then when I'm ready to do the project, whatever it may be, I can fill that in with something fun. Um, I kind of like this though, but that's too much, isn't it? Let's just go with this. I can always add to it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's take this off. Let's just see what it looks like. Humor me, friends. I'm thinking it's not. I'm not going to like it like that, but... I don't know, I don't know. No, not loving it. I can add that in another, in another life, in another project. Um, so let's see, I've talked about what I'm doing next weekend. This weekend is weird because everybody's gone, except for Dave and I, and we have been both so busy this week that we haven't even talked about like, what are our plans for the weekend? I would love it if our plans were just to wing it all weekend long and just go as the spirit moves us, but that usually is never the case. I think he has some projects he wants to do possibly at our, well, I don't know how he's going to do anything at our rental house because we have Airbnb people there, but I don't know. Maybe it's he wants to do something at the venue. He's always got a agenda. But there you go. You can just use these as, you know, and I'll go ahead and zhuzh it up with some distressing here in a second. Um, but as I finish up, let me see. Is there anything that I haven't shown you? I don't think so. Um, but I would love to see what you guys do with this. I'd love to see your photos. You can, you know, share them on here. You can, if you aren't already a, a subscriber, that would be awesome. Um, so, uh, of our VIP page, I kind of got off track. I was thinking to myself, um, on Facebook to restore you VIP group and you can share all your fun projects with us. Um, I'd love to see them and tell me what you've been up to. And be sure, don't forget, um, so that you can be 
included in our awesomeness of announcements um, to hop on over to episode nine, which I will um, add to the bottom of this video so that you can hop on over there easily and check it out. And I will tell you that um, I have lots and lots of fun planned if I can get my stuff together and get it done. So be looking for more fun and excitement in our upcoming videos. Um, you should be um, getting at least four or five videos coming out in the next few days. I'm scheduling those as soon as I get the last couple videos I need to get done. Uh, finished in the next day or so. Oh, I got a little carried away there. That's okay. Um, so I look forward to seeing you. Until then, my friends, um, take time to just be and cheers. Have a great weekend.